This is Lesson 6.5, Applying Systems of Linear Equations. Your objectives are to determine the best method of solving systems of equations and applying systems of equations. There's five methods for solving systems of equations. Graphing, substitution, elimination with addition, elimination with subtraction, and elimination with multiplication. For an exact solution, an algebraic method is best. So we're not going to do any of these with graphing. To get an exact solution, you should always use algebra. Determine the best method to solve each system of equations, then solve the system. Number 1. 5x plus 3y equals 16 and 3x minus 5y equals negative 4. I'm not going to use graphing. And since none of the variables have a coefficient of 1, I won't use substitution. So I'm going to have to do elimination. The x's don't have matching coefficients, and the y's don't have matching coefficients. So I'm going to have to use elimination with multiplication, and I'll eliminate the x's. So the method will be elimination with multiplication. Multiply the top equation by 3, since the bottom equation's x coefficient is 3. And multiply the bottom equation by 5, since the top equation has an x coefficient of 5. Each equation times the other equation's coefficient. The top equation becomes 15x plus 9y equals 48. And the bottom equation becomes 15x minus 25y equals negative 20. Now the x's have matching coefficients, so they can eliminate. Since the signs are the same, we'll subtract these equations. 15x minus 15x is 0. Watch your signs here. 9y minus negative 25y is 34y. Minus a negative means plus a positive. Then your equals. And 48 minus negative 20 is 68. Be careful when you subtract the negative. So the x is eliminated. Now let's solve for y. Divide both sides by 34. And y is 2. Now substitute 2 in for y in either equation. We'll use the first original equation. y is 2. Solve for x now. 3 times 2 is a 6. Subtract 6 from each side. Divide both sides by 5, and x is 2. So your final answer is 2 comma 2. We used elimination by multiplication because we wanted an exact answer, so we didn't want to graph it. None of the variables had a coefficient of 1, so we couldn't substitute. So we knew we had to eliminate and none of the variables had matching coefficients, so we had to eliminate with multiplication. Number 2. 3x minus 5y equals 7, and 2x plus 5y equals 13. We're not going to graph this, and since no variable has a coefficient of 1, we can't substitute. Everything's lined up so we can eliminate, Does either variable have a matching coefficient? Yes, the y's do. So we can eliminate with either addition or subtraction. Since the signs are different, negative 5y and positive 5y, we'll eliminate with addition.
So we'll add the equations together. 3x plus 2x is 5x. Negative 5y plus 5y is 0, so the y's eliminate. Equals 7 plus 13 is 20. Now we can solve for x. Divide both sides by 5, and x is 4. Now substitute 4 in for x into either equation. Let's use the first one. 3x minus 5y equals 7, and x is 4, so substitute 4 in for x. Now solve for y. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract 12 from each side, and negative 5y equals negative 5. Then divide both sides by negative 5, and y is 1. Write your final answer as an ordered pair, x comma y, you get 4 comma 1. Since everything was lined up, and the y coefficients matched, and the signs were different, we did elimination with addition. Number 3, y plus 3x equals 24, and 5x minus y equals 8. I'm not going to graph this, and I do have variables with coefficient 1. The y in the top equation and the y in the bottom equation have a coefficient of 1. So I can solve this with substitution. I'll use the y in the first equation. So we'll use substitution. When you substitute, find a variable with coefficient 1 and then solve for it. So let's solve that first equation for y. Subtract 3x from each side, and y is 24 minus 3x. Then substitute that in for y in the other equation. 5x minus put it in parentheses, instead of putting y, write 24 minus 3x equals 8. Now solve that equation for x. Let's distribute that minus sign, 5x, and then minus a 24 is minus 24, minus a negative 3x is plus 3x. Be careful with your signs there. Minus a negative means add a positive. Equals 8. Combine like terms. 5x plus 3x is 8x. Add 24 to each side. 8x is 32. Divide both sides by 8, and x is 4. Now, substitute 4 in for x in any of the equations, and the easiest one is the one that we solved for y. So let's substitute x into that equation. y equals 24 minus 3x and substitute 4 in for the x. So y is 24 minus 12, y is 12, and your final answer is 4 comma 12. Since we had a variable with a coefficient 1, we could solve that with substitution. Number 4, negative 11x minus 10y equals 17, and 5x minus 7y equals 50. Which method should we use? We're not going to graph it because we need an exact answer. None of the variables have a coefficient of 1, so we won't do substitution. So we'll eliminate. Everything's lined up, the x's, then the y's, then the equals, and then the constants. The x's don't have the same coefficient, and the y's don't have the same coefficient. So we're going to have to eliminate with multiplication. Pick a variable to eliminate, and it doesn't matter. We'll eliminate the y's. And we'll do it 
with multiplication. So multiply each equation by the other one's y coefficient. So we'll multiply the top equation by 7 and the bottom equation by 10. The top equation times 7 becomes that and the bottom equation times 10 becomes that. Now the y's have matching coefficients, so we can eliminate. The signs are the same, so we'll subtract these equations. Negative 77x minus 50x is negative 127x. Negative 70y minus negative 70y is 0, so the y is eliminated, equals 119 minus 500 is negative 381. Now solve for x. Divide both sides by negative 127, and x is 3. Now substitute 3 in for x into either equation, and we'll use the second original equation. x is now 3. Solve for y now. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract 15 from each side. and divide both sides by negative 7. So y is negative 5. Write your answer as an ordered pair. 3 common negative 5. We don't do these with graphing. None of the variables had a coefficient of 1, so we can't substitute. So eliminate. Everything's lined up, and since none of the variables had a coefficient of 1, we're going to have to solve with elimination with multiplication. So remember, when you're deciding what method to use, it's best to not use graphing. If a variable has a coefficient of 1, you can use substitution. If everything's lined up, you can eliminate. If a variable has matching coefficients and the signs are the same, you can eliminate with subtraction. If the signs are different, you can eliminate with addition. But if the coefficients don't match, you'll have to eliminate with multiplication.